Hey, what's up guys? This is Stainville, and this is my second Q&A video. Um, I really do hate doing these commentaries just because I feel like it takes me forever. I try to make it perfect, and then I screw it up and restart a million times. So, um, what I pretty much did is I went through all the questions you guys sent me on Twitter or private messages or even left in comments, and I just got a select few of them that I'm going to answer for you guys. Alright, so the question I get the most as of lately is the whole situation going on between the two envious rosters and why we have you know a black and a blue team i'm gonna post a link in the description below and it's to a blog that we just put up on our website pretty much answering any questions you guys have as far as you know why we have two rosters and what direction envious plans on going with these two rosters so if you guys have checked that out after this video i'm pretty sure it's going to answer a lot of those questions all right so the first question I have here is what sensitivity do I use? Right now I'm using two sensitivity. I jump back and forth between three and two quite a bit. Um, threes, I, I think it's better for close range, but I use a FAMAS more now. And I think two kind of, it feels like there's less recoil. It could just be all in my head, but I'm sticking to two sensitivity right now. Do I use frags or simtex? I use frags mainly because they're, I feel like they're like 10 times more you know, they do 10 times more damage than Simtex do. Whenever I threw a Simtex at an enemy, I felt like all I was getting was hit markers. And, you know, maybe 10% of the time I'll get a kill. It just feels like they're so much weaker. And frags, you can get a lot more clutch with them. You can throw them over buildings and, you know, they go a lot further. So I'm sticking with frags on all my classes. Do I use control freaks? I do not use control freaks. I used them at one point in time. I just, you know, gave them a little test and they're not bad. I just feel a lot more comfortable with nothing, you know, no additions on my controller. So, um, but if you haven't tried them, I would recommend you give them a try. They might improve your gameplay. They might not, but that's the only way you'll find out. Let's see. What else do we have here? Um, what's your favorite assault rifle? Why did you leave envious? And do you have any strats for a team getting started? My favorite assault rifle is the FAMAS. Um, I never left MVS. Once again, that's the whole situation you're probably talking about between the two teams. Um, if you check out that blog in the description, I'm pretty sure it will answer all your questions. As far as uh, new teams getting started, um, I think one of the, the biggest things that ruin teams are they, they expect to always win. And when they lose a few maps here and there, they start to argue and that breaks teams up. You really got you really got to focus and you know want to get better and you have to expect to lose and just learn from your losses. That's all I can tell you. Um what Call of Duty do I feel is the best? Um I think COD 4 is by far better than any Call of Duty that is out. Um I just think that it was just so balanced and the maps were so good and there was you couldn't complain about anything in Call of Duty 4. It was just a perfect game. How hard is MLG competition for Call of Duty players? How is LAN competition harder than online skirmishes? Um, well, for the simple fact that at LAN events, such as like MLG, there's so many players there, and there's spectators, and there's commentators. It's just the whole environment kind of adds a lot more pressure on the players. Um, it's not like you practice in that type of environment, so it's hard to prepare for it. So it, that kind of just affects people gameplay a lot. All right, guys, that's going to be the last question I answer for you, mainly because Hashtra sitting right next to me. And uh, since I'm doing a commentary, he wants to do one. And you guys probably hear him getting picked up in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and make that the last question. If you have any questions you want me to answer in my next Q&A video, go ahead and post them in the comments. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, thanks again, guys.